Hello crafty friends, welcome to this video. Today we are breaking out the browns to create a coffee themed birthday card. So the first thing I did was take some mixed media paper and cut a tag from it. And this is going to form the base of the focal point of my card. I popped the tag on my grip mat to keep it still and I used my two brown distress oxides on it. I blended on vintage photo. I wasn't looking for a perfect blend. This is just a background. A little bit of variation is nice. And after that, I took a stencil with some coffee ring uh, holes in it and blended some walnut stain through it. So this is a darker brown and stood out nicely on my tag. To add even more coffiness to my tag, I decided to do some stamping and heat embossing. So I popped my tag in my stamp wheel, treated it with my anti-static sock full of corn flour, and then took some coffee ring stamps and inked those up with embossing ink. And after that, I added some gold embossing powder. This isn't my usual bright detail gold powder. This is a very vintagey, antique gold powder, which I felt would look better on this coffee themed tag. So after adding the powder, I heated it with my heat tool in my nonstick tray. And then I decided to add some splotchy watermarks, but instead of splashing on water like I often do, I took the stamps that I'd previously used and spritzed them with water and then stamped them down onto the tag. And this left some watery coffee ring marks. Next, I decided I wanted something for my tag to sit on on my card. So I took the walnut stain ink and blended it onto a piece of smooth white cardstock and cut it into strips using one of my strip dies. These are the really skinny strips. It actually cuts four of them, but I only used three in the end. To make my strips sticky, I added double-sided tape to the back before I die cut them out. And then using my T-square ruler, I lined them up nice and, well, they're vertical here, but they do end up horizontal, nice and vertically on a square piece of smooth white cardstock. I trimmed any overhanging bits and then used tape runner to attach that to the front of a square card. This is about five and three quarter inches by five and three quarter inches square. And there's a little border all the way around the outside of that card panel. I knew that I wanted to pop my card up on foam tape to give it a bit of dimension, but before I stuck it down, I drew around the tag in pencil so I knew where it was going to sit. And then I did some second generation stamping with those same stamps I used earlier and vintage photo distress oxide. So I inked up the stamp, stamped it down on a spare piece of paper to the side and then stamped it onto my card front so that they were sticking out from behind the tag. And I decided to do second generation stamping because I didn't want them to be too attention grabbing. I didn't want them to be so dark they competed with those stripes or grabbed the attention from the tag. Once I'd done all that, I masked the left-hand side of the card to keep it clean and then took some more vintage photo and a wet paintbrush and added some splatters. This just adds lots of energy and movement to the card. Next, I stuck my tag down over the pencil marks. I'm doing everything vertically because I find it easier to line things up straight when I'm looking along the length of things, I think. But I do turn the card through 90 degrees so it's horizontal. So once that was done, I set about preparing my sentiment. I die cut the sentiment piece from smooth white cardstock, popped it in my stamp wheel and then stamped the sentiment. I heard today's your birthday using walnut stain, the dark one, because I want this to be quite attention grabbing. I ended up stamping it three times to get a really lovely crisp 
deep dark impression and then I stamped it with embossing ink and heat embossed it with clear embossing powder to make it nice and shiny. This also has the effect of deepening the colour a bit as well. To embellish my card I wanted to carry on this coffee theme so I die cut two takeaway coffee cups from mixed media paper. One of them I left as is, the other one I trimmed off the sleeve and trimmed off the lid because I'm going to put these on top of the other die cut to give it a bit of dimension. But before I did that, I coloured my other die cut. So I used Vintage Photo on the little heart that goes in the middle of the cup and then Walnut Stain for the cup itself. Once I'd done that, I popped a bit of double-sided tape behind the brown die cut and that allowed me to stick the heart back where it should be. Then I used some tacky glue to stick the sleeve on the front and to stick the lid on the top. I did end up cutting another lid and sticking that on top so the lid has got three layers. As well as that takeaway cup, I also die cut three of these, I guess, cappuccino mugs. On two of them, I cut off the back piece so that it would look dimensional. You might be able to see this in the close-ups at the end of the video. So the front two, where I snipped off the back of the cup, I stuck together. And then I just took a brown pen and coloured in an ellipse of coffee on the back die cut. And then I stuck the front two die cuts on top so it looks a bit dimensional. I also coloured a bit of card with the ink that was on my blending brush and cut out three stars and stuck those on the front of the coffee cup for a bit of detail. To finish off my sentiment piece, I die cut two more of the shapes out of cardstock, layered them up and added them to the back of the stamped piece and I did this because I wanted to give the sentiment a bit of dimension but I didn't want to add a whole nother layer of craft foam so this is three die cuts deep and I added that to the sort of center of my tag in between the coffee cups that I previously glued down with tacky glue for finishing touches I added some teeny tiny enamel dots, they're a peachy colour but they can get away with being brown. I did also want some darker embellishments as well so I took some more of that walnut stain, blended it onto some mixed media paper, added double sided tape to the back and die cut out some wonky circles and they actually look like when I got them stuck down I think they look a bit like coffee beans so they worked out really well. Not only did they allow me to cover up a few blemishes on the card, bits where I'd smudge some of the ink, they add to the coffee feel as well, they're the right colour and the right shape and that's it that's this card done that's brown day finished i hope you like the card and that you've enjoyed the video and i do hope you could join me tomorrow for black and white day we're going to do a black and white only card right thanks for joining me i hope to see you back here very soon bye for now